Dreyer off the inside in the red helmet colour then. Casper Hendrickson out of gate number two in blue. Matthias Schirniak, gate number three in white. Keenan Roo looking for a big result as well. Off the outside in the yellow helmet colour. Semi-final number one of SGP2. The final round here in Voyance. It's been a good night of Speedway. No question about that. All about finishing it in the top two in this one, which does slightly change the dynamics of the race. Can you risk trying to move into first place from second and leave the door wide open? I would suggest nobody's going to take that chance. Let's see. Here we go, then. Big moment now for Shirniak. Can he hold it all together? Green lights on. Oh, he's gone straight through the tapes. Oh, oh my goodness, that oh, leaves him wide it's open. It's oh, dear. Oh my goodness, now I wasn't expecting that. This is now drama. That's blown it wide open. Has it ever? He's going to need a calculator now. Now, if Bartosz Kowalski or Keenan Rue win the meeting, as a consequence of that, as a consequence of that, then Maciej Szyniak won't be world champion. Yeah, moves before they move. So if Keenan Rue or Bartek Kowalski can win on the night, they will pip him to the post. What an opportunity. We weren't expecting that, Chris. No, Keenan Rue's actually looking over to the left to see what's happened. I bet he can't believe his luck there. No. And uh, none of us were expecting that, but uh, clearly feeling the nerves. And uh, he's going to have to now keep his fingers crossed that Kowalski and Keenan Rue don't go on to win the night because uh, as a consequence of that um, uh, probably only going to pick up nine points mm. and uh, 20 points from Keenan Rue or Bartek Kowalski will see them crowned world champion rather than uh, Matthias Szyniak well that really is dramatic stuff here in the first wow. semi-final wow. and they hadn't even left the tapes wow that is quite extraordinary now what an opportunity for Rue Keenan Rue's just got to believe he can get in the first two he's got to throw everything at this everything Henriksen the favourite out of gate number two we've got a reserve rider on the inside Keenan Rue a fully fledged SGP2 rider lying second in the championship chase what a moment for him here we go then second time of asking Dreyer Henriksen Rue on the outside oh the tanks are up Henriksen's away nicely he hits the first turn Dreyer up the inside Rue around the outside can he get there can he get there yes he can that's just what he needed he's through in the second place got to keep it all going now but Henriksen's had a smashing night Looking really good out in front. Keenan Rue pushing on in second. Oh, he's lifted violently. Now Dreyer up the inside. Yes, he's coming through. Oh, that's neck and neck as they go. So two turns three and four. Drama here in semi-final number one. Oh, has Keenan Rue got an answer now? That's the second time tonight he's made a mistake when he's been in the points. And this one is going to cost him dearly. He's got to get himself into second place to give him a chance of this title. It doesn't look like he's going to do it. Henriksen out in front, set for the final. William Dreyer in the right place at the right time. Keenan Rue with that costly mistake is going to miss out. What an opportunity slipping away. And we've got a reserve rider in the final. That is extraordinary in itself. Keenan Rue misses out. Desperately disappointed for him. Casper Henriksen through in fine style. Gate number two. Absolutely, once again, working a treat for him. And many congratulations to William Dreyer, who makes the final tonight. Desperately disappointing moment for uh, Keenan Rue, who had battled so hard to get the better of Dreyer. That's brought a smile to Sheenak's face. Result of the first semi-final then, Casper Henriksen out in front. He's through. William Dreyer in the final as well. Keenan Rue slips up there. Disappointment for him and Matthias Sheenak sitting there in the pits watching it, as you say. One of the uh, rivals and the opportunities for him to be overhauled has slipped away. Here we see it again. Yeah, this is tough stuff for Keenan Rue. He's in second place throughout uh, the first couple of laps, makes that mistake. But from the start, it's Henriksen, perfect. Rue has to work hard there around the outside, does the right thing. Dreyer goes as far as he can. It's a fair ride from him, leaves him the space. And at this point, you've just got to say that Keenan Rue's got to ride around the inside. And do not do that. Do not make a mistake. Left the door wide open for Dreyer, and he moves into second place. And what a night for him.
goes into the final. Brilliant stuff. Yeah, that is, uh, as I say, it's a fairy tale story for William Dreyer. Um, a fabulous moment for him. Desperately disappointed for Keenan Rue, but nonetheless, um, uh, that's the way it's worked out. Casper Henriksen comfortably through to the final once again, second consecutive final. So now we uh, turn our attentions to semi-final number two. If Bartek Kowalski doesn't make the final, All then right, Shinyak is world two. champion. But uh, Bartek Kowalski out of gate number two has every chance. Two. It really yes. has been an advantage In tonight. Francis Scott. finished the meeting poorly though. He finished yeah. with uh, an exclusion in, in the third place, so uh, certainly uh, found it tough towards the end. He has indeed, and he's got plenty of uh, competition as well. And Hellstrom bangs out here, and Damon Ratchetak also searching for a medal as well, so yeah. don't rule him out. He's going along very nicely as well. Francis Gust just thrown in for good measure, but he is another rider that has, um, his form has slipped the longer the night's gone on, and he's got gate number four, but all attention now now on Kowalski. Can he hold it together? Can he find the composure to stay still on the start, drop the clutch at the right time? Sounds simple, but I tell you, under this pressure, far from it. He's in the right place. He is indeed. The line-up for semi-final number two then. Philip Helstrom bangs off the inside in red. Gate number two in blue, Bartek Kowalski. Gate number three, Damien Ratazak in white and off the outside in yellow is Francis Gus. This is drama in the extreme, Chris. This oh, it is. just could not have scripted this. Shinyak going along so sweetly. Looking like it was going to be a formality in semi-final number one. Yeah. Charges the tapes and leaves the door wide open. Uh, Kowalski, the man in this race that could still lift this crown if he can get through to the final and win it, of course. But on the inside of him, he's got the all entertaining, exciting, all action, Helston Bangs and Ratchisak chasing a medal. Indeed he is. Ratchisak's not out of it either. Uh, can he do something from gate number three? Here we go then, semi-final number two. Green light is on, takes her up. Kowalski's made it from gate two, smashing star from him. Round the outside is Francis Gus. Oh, Kowalski lifted behind him there. Gus now up the inside. Good move from him, he fires himself to the front. Kowalski's got to hang on in second place to make the final. But look at Helston Banks. Helston Banks is not out of it. Ratasak at the back. Gus is in front, Kowalski in second place, but Hellstrom Bangs is charging hard in third. Tell you what, Kowalski's got to settle down, he's got to get to the inside, because if he leaves that hole for Hellstrom Bangs, he will ride through it. He's got to start riding around the curve. Gus oh! just my eyes, made a mistake, that's oh, it, out. it's done. It is indeed Hellstrom Bangs coming through, and if it stays like this, Shinyak will be the world champion by the skin of its teeth. One lap to go, Gus out in front. Tony Hellstrom Bangs, and now Hellstrom Bangs is out of shape. Oh my goodness, you can't scare it. Richard Ratchishak now in the second place. Kowalski now back in the second oh, place. Ratchishak's done One it. One back. Oh my goodness, Shinax world champion. You could not take your eyes off of it. And Matthew Shinax, by the skin of his teeth, retains his title. Congratulations to him. You've got to feel for Kowalski and Keenan Roo. I've got to say, Kowalski should have done that, really. How tough was that for Shinax to sit in the pits and watch that? He can do nothing about it but watch. Well, the new world champion retains his title, goes out of the under-21 ranks on top form with another gold medal. I tell you what, you're right, Chris. He must have been biting oh. his fingernails down there in the pits after blowing it in semi-final number one with charging the tapes. Bartek Kowalski and Keenan Roo slipping up and not making the final tonight. And as a consequence of that, Matthias Shuniak is a double world champion at under-21 level. Brilliant stuff. Yeah, fully deserved. Struggle tonight by his... Extremely high standards, seemed to uh, suffer from the nerves in his semi-final when he charged through the tapes. But both Kowalski and Rue, both in semi uh, in final positions, yeah. making mistakes. It shows you how hard it is to get over the line. It's never a given. Came in here with a comfortable lead. Everybody expecting him, the weight of expectation. Just see the results in the semi-finals. With Gus and Ratajak through, what an exciting race it was. Bartek Kowalski slipping up there. Yeah, just the failing to go through to the final. We'll see it once again. This was just drama again here. Yeah, I don't know where to look in this race. It's uh, all about Kowalski there. There's the first mistake in the first turn. And you're thinking, right, it's all over for him. He's now stuck on the outside of Francis Gus. 
and you're thinking it already on this first act. Got to get to the curb. You've got to get to the curb. You've got to defend what you've got. Got to defend that second place. But of course, Helstrom Bangs has got other ideas. Sticks his nose in, forces almost Kowalski to stay on the outside. Kowalski then immediately realizes he's going to cover the inside, makes that mistake, and it's all over from there. And uh, Helstrom Bangs, well, he puts him under the pressure to force the mistake. And then, of course, Ratchazak at the death there, flies around the inside, holds his nerve around the inside. Kowalski misses out. What a semi-final that was. Really was quite extraordinary with Kowalski missing out there. It was action packed throughout the four laps. And uh, you've got to feel for Kowalski, but uh, in the end it uh, transpired that uh, Matthias Jerniak retains his title and uh, is a double SGP2 world champion. So uh, we are now going to be able to get some reaction down there in the pits with Marcelina, with the world champion Matthias Szczelniak. That's right, Mateusz Szczelniak, under 21 world champion. What a night for you with a lot of emotions, mixed emotions. How are you feeling right now? I don't know. Uh, now I feel nothing. I'm so tired and uh, today is very... Um, not pleasure for sure day. Thank you. Come on, you're a world champion again. I know, but <laughs> I start not not good. Then three, three, two, two, and my first tape touched the tape in uh, in Speedway Grand Prix. So uh, was it because of a lot of pressure? Maybe a little bit. Uh, I don't know what I can say. I'm so happy, of course, but. Uh, Tomorrow, I uh, start uh, thinking about what I do today. And Obviously, generally all season. Obviously, you're a little bit shocked right now, but congratulations, massive congratulations to you, world champion Mateusz Czerniak. Thank you. Thank you. He is, and it will sink in over the next 24 hours, and he'll reflect on it slightly differently, I would think. He's uh, a touch disappointed with the way it's transpired, but nonetheless. You cannot take away from him winning the opening two rounds. Yes, he put himself in a precarious position where he needed luck and a certain amount of good fortune. But in the end, Matthias Szczerniak is a double SGP2 World Speedway champion and he goes out of the under-21 ranks on top. What a performance from him. He has been the dominant force. That's the moment when he nearly <laughs> threw it away. It was quite dramatic stuff. It really did open it up then for Keenan Rue and Bartek Kowalski, but they slipped up, and that man is champion once again. Yeah, without question, the uh, best young speedo rider in the world right now fully deserves this championship. And uh, yeah, it was a tough night for him, but that's what makes a champion. Really would. So the lineup for the final is young William Dreyer will go from the inside in the red helmet colour. Casper Henriksen going along well tonight. Terrific effort from him. Gate number two in blue. Gate number three in white is Damien Ratashak and Francis Gus will go from the outside in the yellow helmet colour. Can't remember a reserve rider making a final in Grand Prix at all. That is a moment in itself and a special time for that young man. Will he make the rostrum on the way he's been riding every possible chance? Yeah, I'm going to remain completely impartial. Come on, William. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. He has ridden out of his skin tonight, has done himself immensely proud this evening. Terrific effort. Henriksen in the box seat, though, out of gate number two. If he can hold it together, could see him win his first SGP Grand Prix. As I say, it could have been a very different story for him if he'd had a decent opening round. One point from the Prague meeting back in June and finished fourth in Gorzhov. Here we go then for the final time of the evening. Final time. Tapes up now. We're underway. Dreyer's made a good start on the inside. Is he there? Gus around the outside. Certainly Henriksen's cut back to the inside, fires himself to the front down the back straight. Ratashak now. Ratashak, keep your eyes on him. He needs to be in the first two if he wants a medal. He's got there. Young Damien Ratashak now coming through into second place. Oh my goodness, it's tied between himself and Henriksen. Yeah, Henriksen done well to get himself ahead there of uh, William Dreyer. Almost got across Henriksen on the first lap. Didn't quite make it. And now Ratashak, I'm sure he will know the situation. He's just got to stay there. He's He's not happy with that, he's got a great run oh, up the inside. Oh, brilliant!
brilliant stuff from uh, Damien Ratisak. How did he get the grip and the drive? Got to hang on out in front. One more lap to go for the young Polish rider. He's going to do the business here. He's going to see him snatch that silver medal. And he's going to do the business. One last blast round the corner. And it's going to be a Polish one-two. What a moment for him. Kasper Henriksen just giving him a little bit of movement there, a little bit of room, and allows Ratashak. What a performance from him. We've seen it throughout the series. He gets better and better the longer the night goes on. And he wins his first SGP2 Grand Prix here in Boyens tonight. What a night for him, and what a night for Poland. Result then of the final. Ratashak wins in fine style. That's for Henderson back in second place. William Dreyer on the rostrum. The magic moment for William Dreyer and Francis Gus missing out. But Czerniak and the Polish team in cock-a-hoop, rightly so. They are dominating Speedway right now, and they've got the one and two in the world. I look what it means to him. Special moments there down on the track. Really is a, a terrific moment for him. Has ridden so well, particularly after his second ride. Really has been rock solid throughout the evening. And uh, Ratashak, what a terrific ride there. So uh, we're having confirmed now it's a Polish clean sweep there. One, two, three. I mean, it must be seventh heaven for Rafał Dobrocki. Yeah. Got out of jail, I would suggest, in the Speedway World Cup back in Wrocław, where it went right down to the wire in the final race of the evening. Damien Ratajczak, tears there, emotions running high, understandably, for the young rider. Sierniak the winner, Ratajczak back in second place. Kasper Henriksen has ridden well tonight, picks up second on the evening. But for Poland, it just can't get any better than this. No, three races ago, it looked like they may be losing out on this championship. And within three races, it becomes a Polish 1-2-3. Can you believe it? Let's just watch it again. Truly extraordinary stuff we've witnessed here tonight. Yeah, it's been a fascinating uh, night of Speedway, this. And uh, Dreyer there makes a, a good run around the outside. And uh, it's Henriksen that gets up the inside of him there, forces him wide, he overturns the bike. And this is what gives Ratchisak the opportunity now to get himself into second place. I'm sure he would have known that that was enough. He's just riding reasonably defensively around the inside. All of a sudden, the opportunity's there. He thinks, OK, this bike's hooking up. I've well, got the inside line, runs into turn three nice and hard up the inside there of Henriksen and uh, breaks the sweet heart. Would have been a great way for him to finish the series. But a Ratchisak it is that takes the win and a Polish one, two, three. Absolutely. Brilliant scenes there. Sierniak, well, it's going to be his teeth in the end. But nonetheless, he's done the business. He's done the hard yards prior to this evening. Certainly felt the nerves here this evening. Artek Kowalski must have felt that his opportunities were slipping away as well. Got a feel for Keenan Rue, who was right there uh, as well.